So there's no um, reference picture for this scene. I'm just going to make something up. And it's going to be a painting about light. And, um, you know, why do paintings that have, have got light, particularly watercolours, you know, why do they really appeal? And, you know, you just got to look at them and um, it's just the way they make us feel. I suppose it could be evoking memories of what it feels like when we go out into the sunshine. At uh, the day, you know, we're heading into the hopefully some warmer weather in the next month or so but um so when we get the odd day where the sun is out it uh, it makes you feel good being out in the sunshine so perhaps you know, that's how these paintings will make us feel when we look at them that you know obviously it's just a trickery you know we're just making the um, illusion of light so Let's just get this first wash down. And this is the all important wash, this one, because this needs to be clean and um, not overworked because this is where our light is going to be. And it will only be light when we put the, um, the darks over the top of it. So, that's why I've kind of tried to keep this white of the paper. So another a lake scene. So let's carry that down. And then we'll just replicate what's above to a certain degree. And these sort of scenes, you know, they're quite good fun because you know it's a chance to experiment. Practice um, mixing on the paper and see, see what it does. So, I'll have it a little bit darker here in the uh, foreground, which will help with the illusion of depth. And switch to a different brush, and we'll perhaps have some slightly darker clouds so we can now start to introduce some darker elements in the painting that will uh, give that illusion of light and you know maybe paintings that have got light in them you know uh, you don't need to explain the painting because it's just about light you know it doesn't need to have a lot of detail in there that um It's simple for us to understand, maybe. Right, there we go. Got some darks here. You know, the darkest darks, maybe against the lightest light there with the white paper. Yeah. You here, but uh, again, like I say, if you've got some light in your scene, you don't need to go mad on detail if anything that will just detract away from what you're trying to say let's get into the stage now where this is starting to dry so I'll let that dry then we can make this appear to be even brighter by putting a dark next to it and it doesn't have to be you know, black, it can be you know, quite warm as the sun is uh, capturing the uh, the light there. I'll come back to that. Let's have a go at uh, putting some something in the distance here, maybe. Just some trees off in the distance there. And we can make those look like they're further away, just with some clean water. Soft edges tend to, to look like they're further away. We have a good combination of hard and soft edges. And maybe have a 
dark again because without the darks you've got no light and I'm using this handy yellow and a bit of red it gives me this nice orange a bit of something over here and that will act as a bit of a stop to stop the eye traveling off the page just a little something there just a few darks wet into wet let it paint itself Take some clean water soften some of that vary the shape a little bit a few hard edges maybe let's do some more work over this side so we know we need some nice strong darks which again will make this look even lighter so we'll start to create a little bit of a, a well of water down here because we're going to need that so maybe a few branches So you can see as soon as I put that dark here it really now gives that illusion of light and that's all it is when you're painting is an illusion in a few bits of detail yard one or two and we can now even pull that branch right across the sun that light there make it look even brighter just a bit of water to make that do something but I just need to make sure I've got that light coming through water there so Let's have a go at painting some reflections. And as long as we concentrate all the light here, we can make these other areas darker in the painting here. So let's just let it paint itself. So just clean water there. Let that run down the page. My board's at about a 30 degree angle. So what's going on above? I'm going to take a clean brush and I can just soften some of those edges there. I don't want any hard lines. So there's my reflection. Let's bring that down a bit further a combination of hard and soft edges don't fiddle too much and same over here so we need to keep the light as soon as we paint into that down it comes and just lift some of that out of there the light is wrapping itself around that tree and maybe to further make it look even brighter just take some clean water and just nice and wet here and now let's take a nice dark and just again further concentrate that light by the tree there going nice and dark here with this put the paint into that And 
we need to not fiddle with it because if you fiddle around with it too much you lose that fresh translucent uh, look that uh, watercolor has so let's um dry this off so let's take the tape off and there we go if we get light in our paintings the story is crystal clear you know that uh, you don't need to explain this painting at all and there's hardly anything in it that um, there was just a quick little wash in the sky some clouds suggestion of some details and really the only detail is this little bit here with the the white of the paper almost and then the darkest part of the painting which are the, perhaps the branches here and that just gives it that um, you know, sense of light and emotion and uh, no atmosphere that's all you need um, so there you go hopefully you enjoyed that um, let me know in the comments what you think and if you're watching this on patreon thanks for uh, being here on patreon and if you're watching on youtube don't forget to hit that like and the subscribe